All right, so for this video, I'm going to go over the simple deform modifier. So right now, I'm going to come over here add to my modifiers tab, go to modifier, and I'm going to go to simple deform. I'm going to use the bend and along the Z axis. I need to rotate my object, so I'm going to rotate this along the Z 90. Then I'm going to hit control A and apply my rotation. And as you can see, now I have this working. Got a little bit of an issue going on right here. But for now, let's say this is working. What I need to do is I'm going to up the rotation to about, uh, let's do 30 degrees. And now the whole, the what I need to do to make this work properly is I need to go into edit mode and I need to add more geometry for this deform modifier to work because right now what it's doing is it's grabbing these vertices and it's in a, these vertices and pulling them in according to a specific location. So I'm going to add some edge loops. I'm going to make sure I have one dead center and I'm going to right click. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add the same amount of edge loops, make sure I have one in the center and I'm going to click here as well. So now if I go to object mode, as you can see, this is now bending fairly nicely. So I'm not gonna go a little bit too harsh on this. Let's do a 45 degree angle. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add another modifier. I'm gonna add an array modifier. So now I can add, you know, a bunch of different, um, you know, amount of these. The only thing is I want this modifier to create a circle. So what I need to do is I actually need to pull this above my simple deform. And now what it's gonna do is it's gonna apply the array modifier before it applies the simple deform modifier. And the cool thing about this is now that I have more geometry to work with, it's actually calculating the 45 degree angle based upon this amount of geometry or this object's bounding box. So now if I put this to, let's do a full 360. Now I have a ring with this object working properly. And the cool thing about this is because this is a um, procedural thing, I can then come over here and I can up the array count and I can make this circle bigger, add more of them. And if I go into edit mode and I select everything and I scale them down, I can scale the size of this object overall. I can even do this in uh, object mode as well, pull this over, and then I can place this wherever I wish. So just a really simple and cool tool to use within Blender. The only thing about this is, unless I apply these, this will be the only object that I have. So if I wanted to, I could unwrap this one and it would unwrap all of these. And then I go over here and I apply these. Now, if I go back to edit mode, you can see I have a bunch more geometry to work with and I can actually start adding in my own edits and my own uh, faces. So I can come over here, add these and extrude these like so. Add a little bit of definition to this just to switch it up. So I hope this video was useful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next